Hi guys, today we want to show you our brand new ultrasound machine. We ordered it on Amazon. It's one of the more affordable machines that you can get. It's a good starter machine. There are a lot better quality machines, but they run probably triple the price of this machine. We got bought a contact and it's all hairy. And it has a, what I believe is a convex pro. I think it's a great starter machine to start with. Get used to ultrasounding, see if you're going to be using it a lot, and then maybe upgrade later is what we are thinking. And since none of our goats are ready to really see some good babies, we invited our friends Amanda and John over to bring some of their does, and they wanted to confirm pregnancies. So we thought it'd be good to get practice with our machine and really see if we can see some babies. So we did use this on Molly. We showed you guys our AI breeding with Molly and we did see that little baby but um, she recycled it so we want to look at some does that we know for sure are bred and get good practice with our machine but we'll show you a little bit about this machine it's a nice hat this hat is from HRD designs where we got justice and she makes the most cutest little goat crafts she also makes hats and this is one. All right, we're gonna go through some of the settings on the machine. So what we've learned so far, so that if you guys have a similar machine, uh, that you can mess around with some of the settings that we've found. Or if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Let's get started. <laughs> There's a power switch here. Um, comes with your cord wrapped. I would leave that wrap on so you can disinfect it easier. You open it up just like a laptop and then you turn it on. It does take a minute to get started and it just takes a moment to get started. There's just a couple settings that we mess with. Hold on. Stop. <laughs> and that's the depth, and it kind of zooms it in. And then my friend showed me there's a setting for a left and a right side, so if you're ultrasounding from the left or the right, you can change that setting. And then we just change the setting to goat or sheep or whatever. So this is the, it's set for cow right now. So it's set for the cow setting right now. You can see a little drawing of cow. Okay, so to change what animal you're doing, and I've heard that this doesn't matter, uh, but just to change the animal that you're doing, you go up here to app type, you scroll your cursor over it, then you hit set, and it's gonna bring up another window, and then you can change it to whatever you're ultrasounding. So in our case, we're gonna go down to sheep, even though they're goats, it's yeah. very similar. Even though they're goats. And then you hit set one more time. That locks it in and changes the little guy down there. So now it looks like a sheep goat looking thing. Now the left and right side, you can see this It would be if you're ultrasounding the left side. If you wanted to change that, you can scroll over here to body mark and hit set. And then it gives you a left, gives you a left and a right side. Oh my gosh, we could have done Eloise. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and so you would just scroll your cursor over which one you want, left or right side. The like right that. side's better. And then click set. And so now the little diagrams display the other way. That's, and then, That's pretty much all the settings that yeah. you need to mess with. Yep, everything else is pretty much good to go out of the box um, as far as your depth and your gain your frequency and your zoom. The only other thing that we do when we are doing ultrasounds is we will zoom in sometimes to kind of see, to make the screen a little bit bigger. Jennifer, how do you do that? You press the depth button. Oh, that's it? That's all you do? Yeah. You just hit the depth button? Yeah. Where is it at? Right here. See? So that'll zoom you in and out. Nice. That's our machine. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to have this useful tool to add to the farm. I think it's gonna be great having this. And the costs will kind of, we do pay for someone to come ultrasound our goats and that can add up. So this will pay for itself over time. Especially when you have 27 goats. Yeah, we're making our way. <laughs> How many goats do we have, 13, 15, 15? or 17. 17? We just added two bucks, so. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here with our friends John and Amanda Hansen with Hansen Hideaway Farms and we're honing in on our ultrasound skills. <laughs> so we've, we've done a couple so far and it is 
you know, really, really helping us at getting the feel for where to put the wand and how to do it and what it should look like. So we're just gonna show this one and see how many we can see. She's what, 32 <laughs> days? 31 days. This does 31 days. And how, she's a junior doe, right? She'll yes. be a first freshener. So we're placing the probe in the pit of the goat, right? Press a little. Oh yeah, I see some. Press harder. Oh, that's more. I think she's got two. There. there they are. Oh. oh, maybe three. Okay, so that. Just slowly. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she okay, Jennifer's gonna try this one because I think she's she's got it down. It seemed like they were up really there high on this one. Mm -hmm. Right there. Fun dip knows the drill. <laughs> so fun dip's the milker. Yeah. Uh, so we've never done one that has an udder either. So this will be a little different too. All right, that's a, that's gonna do it for our ultrasounding. Um, thanks to John and Amanda for bringing their goats over to let us practice on basically to kind of get the hang of our ultrasound machine. That was really cool. And if you guys would like to follow them, they have a Facebook page. Uh, Hanson's Hideaway Farm and we'll leave a link to that down below and that's again that's where we got Dottie and we got Lemon so um, they have some pretty exceptional goats over there and uh, they're doing their thing. Milk testing, participating in linear appraisal and performance programs also they also show pretty awesome people and it was really nice of them to bring their goats over so that we could practice. So all in all they brought five goats for us to look at and for the most part we were able to see the sacks in the ones that were 30 to 40 days or so. There was one that was 28 days and that was still in milk and that one was really a challenge to see the babies in there. Where's Dottie's? Where's Dottie's? Oh, Dottie's in the corner. Oh, Dottie. Hi, Cardi. Hi, Cardi. Hi, Cardi. Hi, Mavis. I know what they want. They want their cookies. These are their little goat treats right here. The wild wild goat treat. I can't get my hand in there. Ah. Ah. One for Gertie. One for Mavis. Ow. Today we noticed that Fawn is in heat and we did try an AI on Fawn also, which didn't work. So we're big fat goose egg on all our AI attempts. <laughs> Just okay. Uh, we'll try. We'll try again next year. Our goal is to breed fawn to another buck, and then we get to look at fawn's udder and compare it to ferns, and then we get to have fawn uh, LA'd, and then we can compare her score to fern and see what improvements Braun is making, and that will help us to pair Braun with someone that he is going to, that the genetics are gonna mesh well with. You know, we wanna make improvements in our herd. We want to keep moving forward and keep our genetics, my arm's getting tired, and keep our genetics, you know, going in the right direction. So uh, that was one of the reasons why we ended up getting two new bucks so that we could mitch, miss, miss, mitch and mitch, mix and match. Oh, today I'm telling you. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. It's voodoo dots. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna pair Fawn with Lipton. Yeah. Sweeter than honey Lipton. Yeah, because Justice is just banging them out and it's not Lipton's <laughs> Sire Stam has amazing attachment. Her udder is just you can see the skin folds, just amazing. So hopefully that will improve whatever, we don't know what Fawn's udder's gonna look like yet. That's the thing, it's hard to pair a first freshener with anyone because you right. don't know what she needs. Yep. So it's good to get them bred, see what their udders are looking like, yep. and then you can make better decisions. Yep. And so if, 
if Fawn's udder is substantially better than Fern's, then we know Braun that we know Braun did a good job and is is throwing down, you know, good good genetics, good udders or good back legs or good, you know, rumps or, you know, whatever it is that he whatever it is that he's throwing down for us. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna get every penned up everybody penned up and we're gonna go grab Lipton and get him get Fawn bread. Yeah. That'll be the last one. We'll have an even number. We've got six doughs. Yeah, that'll be the we have a that'll be the last one. <laughs> this is the last one because we're too late. I don't want kids born in May. Yeah. So we'll have an even number. We have double milk in. I figured two, four, six for milking. You might as well throw another one up there, right? Before work. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's alone. Come on, funny. Let's see your boyfriend. You're feeding piranhas. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Say good night, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.